So we're going to let the coolant drain on this 2010 Toyota Tundra. We're going to go after the water pump. So I'm letting it drain, and then we're going to go after the other stuff. We're going to pull this top hose off. There she goes. And pull this off here. And just gotta get our last bolts here loose and pull our fan out. These bolts down here, they're 12 millimeter nuts. So I'm gonna have to rotate the fan around or get each nut. Once I get that, then I can pull the fan off. I'm gonna have to pry behind the uh, mount for the fan a little bit to get the pop out. So once I get that loose, then I can go after my shroud and pull the shroud and the fan up at the same time. <laughs> So you got this plastic clip here, you just, there's a latch, you push on the latch, it comes undone, and it stays on the shroud, and your hose is popping So with the fan out of the way, we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull one of our tensioners. Looks like we're going to wind the tensioner, I think that is. So that's a 13 there, I'm going to tension that. And then, I need money to take these bolts loose on the water pump first. So do that, those are 12s. I Okay, now that I got this pulley off, this is what is the drip water pump, is this right here. You can see there's some yellow coolant there. Um, now I'm going to go pan over to this other pulley. The yellow coolant right there where the water pump is. And then we have my other pulley, which is for the fan, which is the fan pulley. That's what they call it. Um, but you can see the water pump was leaking. You have all this yellow coolant, or red coolant, that was leaking for a long period of time. And that's why we're changing it. So next we have a series of three hoses that need to come up with these spring clamps. You've got the one in the front, right after this one there's another one, and after that one there's another one. And then we have this small tiny hose on top of the thermostat housing, which needs to come off, along with the lower radiator hose, which is the big one, it needs to come off also in order for us to get everything off, because the, the housing has to come off, and we have to put a new gasket on there. Now that I got the clamps off, I got these special pliers, they just they have a circle on them to get on the hose plant or the hose itself and work it back and forth so it'll pop it loose. So make sure you don't puncture the hose. Now I'm going to be working on the last two hoses here in the back. I'm doing the same one I did to the front hose. And here's the last clamp in the very back. Okay, so now I'm going after the bolts, I think for the thermostat. So it's going to pop the thermostat. There's three thermostat bolts and they're 312, so they're in a triangle shape. So I'm going to take those out so that I can see things a little bit better. Once I get that out, then I'll start going ahead and taking the bolts out of the water pump, which there's an assortment of, uh, I can't remember exactly how many, but there's a 12 and uh, 14s. I do believe that's what they were. So now I'm taking the bolts out of the water pump, so this is a 12 here after my, I have my thermostat housing out of the way, as you can see, there's a bolt behind the thermostat housing, so it's a must to take that off. Also, there's a hidden bolt underneath one of these hoses that you can't see, it's kind of hard to see. There's quite a few hidden bolts on this. This one is directly underneath the pulley, which you can't see, so you guys want to make sure you go around with like a camera or a mirror and just look for every last little bolt. So here I'm getting the last bolt that's hidden underneath one of these hoses. You can't see it unless you look, so you actually have to use like a wobbly 12 in order to get it because it's directly underneath the hose. As you can see, it's a pickle spot. So I should be able to get all these bolts and my water pump should pop out now. So I'm just looking around for any missing bolts and then right here underneath the hose there's going to be a couple hidden bolts. 
So now that I got the water pump out of there, you can see where it's been leaking, this red stuff here in this gasket. It comes a new one just like it. And you have to make sure that the comb part goes in like a, like the right. So you make sure you put a new O-ring here for your thermostat. All right, now that you got the water pump out of there, you can go ahead and start cleaning up all the gasket material that's left over from the rubber. And we'll get it in there and we'll make sure she's nice and clean before we put a new water pump in there. So I got it cleaned off. There's a couple black spots and you go over the, the razor blade and orchard and everything's better. Slathered down a little bit so it's nice and good for my house, thermostat housing. And we'll see what happens. So now I'm going to go ahead and tighten up my bolts. I'm going to do a pattern back and forth like a star. Make sure it's evenly applied. You can crack the aluminum housing of the new water pump. You just want to make sure you work it evenly on each side. So as you can see here, I've got a little bit of RTV down around this O-ring just to make sure it seals. I want to make sure that it seals with the O-ring just in case, just for more insurance. Right. So I got my clamps back on. I'm just got to get this last hose. I want to make sure I get my hoses in the right spot. Which I have, which is pretty self-explanatory. So get this back into place. So if you look at this where the water pump is, it looks a little bit different because I had studs in there and I remembered that there was bolts holding the face on. So I gotta get this lined up and I put my original bolts back in and away we should go. So with all my hoses back together, I went ahead and I'm gonna fill it up with Toyota Red, which is the cool one that it calls for. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna run it and fix it good. <laughs> Be your own, be your own, be your own.